2019 was another year of transition. Every year is. But this year, we leaned into the changes that are happening globally, and we're ready to go in 2020. We know that fragile states are still the common denominator behind violent extremism, civil wars, massive migration. We still need to focus on that, but we also know that rising global competition, resurgent Russia and a rising China need to be grappled with. We have to make investments in fragile states today to avert tomorrow's crises. I was in Istanbul this fall uh, for a negotiation workshop with 25 Afghan women leaders. We brought experts from the US, Colombia, and the Philippines so that they could share lessons learned and best practices from peace processes from other contexts. USIP here in Libya is working with uh, local communities to push peace forward. The final objective is to actually help people come together to build social cohesion. Our goal will be to address those drivers of fragility that give rise to the extremist threat. But we're seeing that those conflicts are complicated by the rise of interstate competition. Well, over the last 10 years, we've seen China adopt a much more ambitious and aggressive foreign policy. USIP has been really focused on trying to understand China's policies towards countries in China's backyard, like Myanmar or North Korea, as well as countries a little farther afield in Africa or Latin America or the Middle East. One of our real strengths is our ability to stay the course on the ground with partners in frontline conflict countries. We've supported workshops and trainings with activists, organizers, and peace builders in Latin America, Africa, Asia, and the Middle East. We managed to bring together people from tribes who haven't sat around one table or in the same room for years now. For nearly 20 years, USIP has put gender at the heart of its work. We know from research that the more gender equality in a society, the less chance of violent conflict. I have been awed and humbled by the women I've met doing courageous work building peace in their communities. But too often these women remain invisible. In 2020, we will be awarding our first ever Women Building Peace Award. USIP launched the Women Building Peace Award to really recognize the important role that women play in peace processes and in overall peace building. In 2020, peace is possible. It takes action. It takes all of us.